Okay, we're back with turn number four, Legend of Drizzt, board game, adventure number one. And things are just not going very well for us at all. But let's go ahead and start turn number four. It's our hero phase, and I'm going to try the same thing I did last turn. I'm going to use my Icing Death at Will Power to try to attack the Water Elemental. If I get really lucky on my roll, I'll take it out in one hit. But my rolls have been anything but lucky. 15. Okay, so we finally hit it, but uh, that's just going to do one damage to it, which is not enough to kill it. But luckily, Drizzt has this uh, expert combatant ability, which lets him take an additional attack during his hero phase. So let's see if we can hit it again. And we rolled a 2, so of course we did not hit it again. Alright, so I don't have my... I have all my hit points in this bag, so I'll have to, in between turns, put a, a one marker on there to remember. Um, but I'll take care of that in between turns. Alright, and once again, I'm not going to explore because it just... I, don't, I, guess, I guess technically I am on an unexplored edge, but I'm choosing not to explore. I think you can do that. Um, because I don't want to bring out more monsters, because I've already got two to deal with. So basically the same thing we did last turn. So we didn't use a healing surge. We did attack. We're not moving. No treasure card. Not exploring. So there's no new tile. There's no new monster. And we will have a forced encounter. No villain. And then we're going to have the same monsters as before. All right. So let's draw the encounter. Let's see what we get. The Dire Corby Flock. Attack each hero on your hero's tile. Oh man. And this is going to do damage either way. I hate those types of attacks. So it's got a plus 9. And it's a 12. Definitely going to hit. And it's going to do the full 2 damage to Drizzt. Taking him down to 1. So Drizzt is probably going to die on this turn. So we're down to 1. And we'll discard the whatever that thing's called. And now the Hypnotic Spirit will activate, and it gets a plus six on its attack, so we need to roll a nine or lower. And we rolled a six, so that one will miss. And then the Water Elemental is going to go and have a slam attack because it's adjacent to us. It's got a plus 8 on that attack, so we need to roll a 7 or lower. And nope, we got a 16. So the slam attack does 2 damage to Drizzt, killing him, or at least knocking him out. So at the start of the next turn, we will have to revive Drizzt using our one and only Healing Surge. So that's going to be it for turn number four.